Ah, oh, guys, I'm trying to find some rounds, but I've got to say, I'm not being too successful so far. I think I'm going to need your help. So as a little recap, if two words rhyme, they have the same kind of sound at the end of them. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. In a moment, I'm going to say a word. You hear that word, you pause the video, and then you go and find a thing. So that could be an object, could be a person, could be a pet, who knows? But a thing in your house that rhymes with it. Then bring your thing back to me, unpause the video, and I'll check the rhyme. Got that? I say a word, you find something that rhymes with it and bring it back. A bit like a scavenger hunt, okay? Now, I mean, that is the word. Start. It's okay! Oh, you're back. Oh, fabulous objects, guys. A great rhyme with okay. In fact, you did that so well. Let's do another one. I'm going to give you a new word, goodbye, okay rhyming thing, and you've got to find something that rhymes with that word. You ready? Our new word is B. Ah, what lovely things that rhyme with the word B. Wonderful. You are getting very, very good at this. I'll tell you what, let's just do one more. I'm going to give you one final word. You take in the word, pause the video, go and get a thing that rhymes with the word, bring it back, unpause and carry on. OK, so get ready to pause, get ready to think, get ready to rhyme. Your final word is debate. Gang, those rhymes aren't debatable at all. They're all spot on. Very ingenious rhyme over there. Lovely little half rhyme over there. Oh, tell you what, you're getting so good at this. I think I need to hang up my binoculars. In fact, I think the student should become the teacher. For your last thing today, why don't you do your own rhyme scavenger hunt? You could get people in your household to go and scavenge for rhymes as well, or have a competition to come up with the most rhymes, or come up with rhymes the quickest. And maybe, if you like to, you might even like to make a little note of some cool rhymes that you've thought of, because, sneak preview, we might use that in a day coming soon. OK, so you set your own rhyme scavenger hunt now. See you on the other side. Hello, welcome back to our next activity and today we're going to be thinking all about odes. O-D-E. Now an ode is an ancient form of poetry and is all about glorifying and celebrating a thing or person and we're celebrating it both emotionally and intellectually. <whistles> now in this ode that you're going to be writing you're going to be doing it about a thing, an object, so not a person or an animal. And it needs to be a thing or object that you value, you think is important, you think is brilliant, that is very, very useful to you, perhaps even something you love. And it could be the object that you made your comic strip about a few days ago. Now, in this ode that we're going to write, you're going to talk about that object's most wondrous qualities, what it looks like, feels like, sounds like, smells like, what it does for you, how it makes you feel, all that good stuff. And in our odes, there's not too much structure. The one thing we're going to have, though, is a repeating refrain or a line that keeps coming back over and over again. And that line's really simple. It's just going to be the name of whatever the object is, followed by the word O. Oh. So if you're writing an ode to a waterproof coat, it will be O oh, waterproof coat. And that line would keep coming back. If you're going to write an ode to your toaster, it would be O oh, toaster. And that line would keep coming back over and over again with verses in between it. Now, now that you know all about syllables and rhymes, you could use syllables and rhymes in your ode however you want to, but you don't have to, it's up to you. So write an ode celebrating all the amazing qualities of an object that is near and dear to your heart. And if you're not quite sure what I mean, I've got a little example ode coming right now. An ode to Margot. Oh Margot, there you stand, 
shabby yet indomitable, scritched and yet proud. Oh Margot, you feel rough like a close-shaven hedgehog, but your soul is smooth. Oh Margot, you make space for our scratching so that we may be calm. Oh Margot, I wish I'd known you before my cat destroyed my brand new sofa.